Welcome to Electro Online. In some earlier videos, we showed you how to calculate the intensity of sound, and we understood what intensity of sound was. It was in terms of a uh, power per unit area, so we can have sound that is one watt per square meter, which is very loud, or sound that is maybe one millionth of a watt per square meter, which is kind of like the sound of normal conversation. But now we're going to tie that in with some physical variables within a sound wave. For example, the density of air, the velocity of sound in air, the frequency of the velocity of sound, the frequency of the sound, and then of course the maximum displacement. And we can actually find the intensity using those parameters. So let's find out. So I wrote them down right here. So we have one half times the density, which is 1.29. Uh, that would be kilograms per cubic meter, times the velocity, 340 meters per second, times the frequency, now of course that's the angular frequency, you have to multiply that time the, the normal frequency by 2 pi, so we have uh, 2 pi times 1000 hertz, which is the actual oscillatory frequency, and then multiply, oh we have to square that, like that, and then we take the maximum displacement. Let's say that was the result of the previous video, 7.26 times 10 to the minus 9 meters, or 7.26 nanometers. So 7.26 times 10 to the minus 9 meters, and we'll square that. So what we're going to do now is find the intensity of that sound wave, and then we're going to, of course, convert that into decibels so we have a better feeling for what that is. All right, let's plug those numbers into our calculator. So we have that one still there from the previous video. I'm going to square that. There we go. Now we're going to multiply the times 1,000 squared, times 2 squared, and times pi squared. Multiply the times 340, multiply the times 1.29, and multiply times 0.5. And what do I get? Let's see here. I get 4.56, so this is equal to 4.56 times 10 to the minus 7, and the units will be watts per square meter. Notice that it's power per unit area, and that's the intensity. All right, that sounds like it's about the intensity of normal human speech. Now let's convert that des to decibels. So intensity in decibels is equal to 10 times the log of the intensity divided by the reference intensity, so this would be 10 times the log of this number, 4.56 times 10 to the minus 7 watts per square meter. And of course, the base intensity that we compare that to would be 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. So we'll take that number, divide by 1 e to the 12 minus, then we take the log of that, and we multiply it times 10, and we get 56.6 decibels. And yes, that's about the sound of normal speech. And so now you realize that when people are speaking, and let's say that they're talking in frequencies of 1,000 hertz, that's relatively high, that's, hmm, that's four times uh, middle C. That is quite high, you have to, be, uh, have to have a good voice to do that. But if you could do that, and of course we're talking about singing probably, then we would have uh, a uh, displacement <clears throat> Oh, then we'll, let's see here. I guess we don't have the displacement. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> then we have a displacement of about 7 nanometers. Uh, that would be the displacement of the molecules in the air, which then results in an intensity that is audible by the human ear. Pretty amazing how that's calculated. So here we found the intensity of sound as a basis of the displacement. In the next video, I'm going to show you the intensity of sound as a function of the pressure difference.